Hey, my fellow dad boys. It is your best cat dad, thy accus. Where have I been? I've been a sad boy. That's why I haven't been making videos. And with my life being a little bit like hectic right now, um, I might not be uploading regularly. I might start doing Twitch once a week. So stay tuned for that. It'll be ASMR streams though. Just a fair warning. I might do like my ASMR stuff on Twitch because I just have no motivation to do them like on video because I get really sleepy afterwards. So with that being said, let's just talk about things. Pisces, the 12th house, what is up with that? Neptune. You know, what is up with that, all right? Someone requested this video, I'll put the comment somewhere here. Thank you, my dude. Pisces is ruled by Neptune and it rules over the 12th house. It's the 12th sign, last sign of the zodiac. It is where everything comes together from all the 11 signs. Pisces is known for being the oldest sign. Obviously, it is the last, so I think that should be a given because it just encapsulates all the 11 signs and it it's in this place where it reflects on all the 11 signs and it has to tie each one together and figure out how everything plays in a whole, I guess. You know, with Neptune, it is very foggy. And with Neptune, like the 12th house, with that fog, everything's just everywhere. You know, it is not Virgo organized because, you know, this is the opposite of Virgo. It is, you know, very all over the place. So Pisces just has to figure out how everything fits within a fog and, you know, it's still fog at the end of the day. Is, are they going to find everything out and figure everything out? No, because something random will just pop out of nowhere. And that's just what ends up happening with like 12th house energy. It is very mysterious in a sense. You don't necessarily know what's going to come out of it. And uh, that's what Pisces is just all about. It is about everything coming together, but it's just all over the place. So they have to like configure things. Pisces, 12th house, Neptune, it's all about dreams. And with dreams, everything is subconscious. It is what you're brain wants to tell you subconsciously. So with that being said, you know, just everything is coming out of nowhere. It's not Virgo organized, but it relates. It also, Pisces is a mutable sign. You know, it is one of the three mirror signs. Two of the mirror signs are mutable signs and one of them is cardinal. So that is Gemini being the, the first mirror sign, which is mutable. Libra being the second mirror sign and they are cardinal. And Pisces being the last mirror sign and they are mutable. Obviously, they are a mirror sign because they're just reflecting on everything and everything is coming to them in their subconscious. Everything's just coming out nowhere. They're really reflecting their surroundings. Um, and they can fit in pretty easily and be chameleon-like because they can just mirror off of whatever's going on. And that's the same thing with Libra and Gemini to an extent. I think Pisces can be more of a chameleon than Gemini and also Libra can, but all three of them are mirror signs. Also, Pisces is a water sign like Cancer and Scorpio. That is all you gotta know about the Pisces in that sense. But let's get on to some stereotypes in one second. All right, so some Piscean stereotypes. The three I that just popped in my head when I was thinking about this was they all do drugs because escapism, ooh, ooh. <laughs> They are all very smart since they're the old souls of the zodiac. They're all two-faced because what I just mentioned about the mirror signs, all right? We're gonna start with number three at first. Uh, since I just mentioned the mirror signs, there is a stereotype that all Pisceans are kind of fake. And that, that's not necessarily the case, you know, because they're mirror signs. I'm a Venus dominant, so I can tell you right now, us like mirroring our environments is just a thing that we do. It does not necessarily mean that we're fake, you know? I still have a personality downside, but yet again, I am an earth- I'm very earthy, so that might <laughs> influence that. I'm pretty sure the same thing goes for Libra and Geminis too. They do have a solid personality. They just- when they're channeling and mirroring, they channel certain parts of their personalities. They don't just like change from one thing to the next. So it's kind of the same thing with Pisces. Even though Pisces is very Neptunian deep down inside, they're just fog. They do have a sense of self in them. It is just, it, it is more difficult for like Pisceans, Librans, and Geminis to find that sense of self, but they still do have it and they still can find it. 
they are not exempt from a personality, basically, I'm just saying. Number two is that they're very smart because they're the old souls of the Zodiac. Which, hey, some Piscean people can be smart, not going to lie. Anyone can be smart. Everyone is smart in a certain area. That is a definite for sure. I'm pretty dumb, but I have some smarts and I can tell you things. But yet again, other people can't tell you the same things. We have different intellects, that's what I think. Pisces being the last sign doesn't necessarily make them smart. I met a lot of smart-ass Pisceans, but that's just my experience with them. I think they did have some Aries, but I could be wrong and just like those two signs like meshing just like came out weirdly when they're unhealthy and that's just where I happened to talk to them at that point of their life. Some Pisceans may be smart asses, some may actually be smart, you know, some may not have the smarts that you like don't define as smarts. You know, it just, it, what I'm saying here is that just because someone is a Pisces doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have all the answers, but they may have, they may be smart in an area. I think we all are in a sense, so I think that's what I'm trying to get at here. Number one is that they all do drugs, ooh woo. Alright, I think I'm gonna mix this with another stereotype that just popped in my head, which is that they're all artistic. And I'm gonna talk about this, okay? Neptune is the main ruler of Pisces which is all about escapism. And the sub-ruler Pisces, well not, sub-ruler Pisces is Jupiter, so that means expansion. And Jupiter is also known for partying. <laughs> um, but then their um, exaltion is Venus, which is all about arts and love and fairness. So that being said, you know, with Neptune and Jupiter, <laughs> just in general sense, they may come off as a sign that would most likely do drugs. But yeah, Pisces is very um, associated with hospitals, drugs, and stuff like that. Escapism, obviously, because of Neptune. So obviously you can uh, say that Pisces is connected to it, but I don't think that every Pisces would be, you know, on drugs, basically. You know, you can't be like, oh, you're a Pisces, Reese's Pisces. You snort Xan XD. You know, that's not how anything works, hon. Pisces, you know, I think everyone has their escapism. Obviously, ne Neptune is in everyone's charts. Everyone has that sense of escapism in them, but it's not going to always lead to drugs. It's going to lead to some interest, most likely. It usually doesn't end up in the dangerous stuff, or I think all of us would be dead. You know, do, do people go to the dangerous stuff? Yes, but it isn't the main, I guess, thing. You know, some Pisces may turn to art, and some Pisces may not be that artistic. So that being said, you know, well, this is where Venus comes in, you know, a lot of Pisces can be artists. You can see that a lot of musicians happen to be Pisces, Lynn Gunn. Piscean energy, it is prominent in artists for sure. Hey, future Kusk. So I just want to say, um, by artist, I don't just mean, uh, you know, musicians. I mean also visual artists, all right? Just want to throw that in there, okay? Okay. That is present because of Venus. Obviously not all Pisces are artistic, you know, some with a more Aquarius influence or Aries influence or they have like Pisces in a more earthy house. They might be more logical, but you know, that is just how things go. Obviously you are more than one sign, you are a whole chart. So you have to note that with everyone, not every Pisces is going to be hella escapist or not every you know, Pisces is gonna be hella artistic. It really depends on the person, so to say, and I think that was the main point with this series in the first place. These are just some main generalization stereotypes hoopla that I just have seen in my time of looking into astrology. So I just wanted to share that with you, and that is what this video is, and whatever what is up video that I have is about. Anyways, it is that Kusk. I don't know if this video made sense. I hope it did. Other than that, um, please check the links down below, I guess, if you want to follow me on Twitter or whatnot. Subscribe if you want. I will be on once in a while for sure. And if you want to talk to me about whatever, or you have any questions, obviously you can follow me on Twitter, shoot me a DM, or go on to my Discord server. Anyways, peace out, hug a tree.